Of all the sources of 1920s hair inspiration, no one has captivated my imagination as much as the great Mary Pickford. Famous for her glorious curls, I have long tried to emulate her look. While I've done tutorials in the past, this is by far my most accurate recreation of her curls. Now this video is part two of my series on how to achieve Mary Pickford's iconic curls. In part one, I discussed how to make the replica kid curlers, which I'll be using to create the style. If you missed part one, I will link it in the annotations and in the description below. I've often wondered how Mary styles her hair. I've done a fair bit of research on the topic and had never really been able to find a definite answer. But finally, after years of pondering, a friend sent me a link to an interview with Madge Bellamy that finally answered my question. Now, I'm going to be following the instructions given in this interview to create my own look, again using the replica kid curlers that I made in part one of this video series. So we're going to start by creating a strong side part. As stated in the interview, I'm taking one curler and wrapping it around each section of hair three times. Then I bend the ends of the curler over top of the curl to secure it, and starting at the bottom of that curl, I wrap the rest of the hair up around the second curler, securing it as close as possible to the first one. I'm going to continue putting in curlers throughout the rest of my hair. Uh, Mary likely used more curlers than I do, but my hair is fairly thin and I just can't achieve decent ringlets if I use smaller sections of hair. Mary also sometimes pinned in extra false curls, so there's that. <laughs> I've noticed sometimes Mary's top waves are perfectly aligned to form a Marcel style of wave. To achieve this more structured wave pattern, make sure that each curler in the top row of curlers has been wrapped and aligned exactly the same. Of course, often her waves did follow a looser pattern, especially when some of her curls have been pinned up at the back. Since my front section never curls in the same way as the rest of my hair, I've gone for a more relaxed jumble of waves and haven't worried too much about perfectly aligning the curlers. For the last section, right at the very bottom, I've just done a single row of curlers instead of the double curler. Once all the hair has been rolled, spray well with water, cover with a scarf, and let set overnight. Get ready for a rough night's sleep. The next morning, when you're thoroughly exhausted from having slept with all these curlers in your hair, carefully remove them all. If a ringlet gets a little bit messy when taking out the curler, try wrapping it around your finger to reform it. This also helps if the ends are a little oddly shapen, as you can sort of tuck them up inside the rest of the ringlet.
Break up the top waves with your fingers and style as preferred. I like pinning my front curls behind my ears. Mary often styled her hair this way and I find it helps to make my odd front curl blend in a little better. Well, thank you for watching this Mary Pickford hair tutorial. This is probably the most effort I've ever put into recreating hairstyle, but I think it was worth it. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!